Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. It's Thursday, it's two o'clock and it's chocolate time! <laughs> you know I love playing with chocolate. I've got the lovely India on camera. Hello! Hello! And have you got any out in a moment? I will ask India for our Thursday special hello. Yeah, it's the first person on there to say hello on oh. our, and it's uh, it, it's your special hello. So my special hello is to Molly Thompson, who said hi everyone. Hello there, and hello to our YouTubers, who, if you're watching, I know a lot of you watch on YouTube and comment on Facebook, so thank you so much for joining us. Today is going to be a chocktastic fun demo. I'm going to do some of the new chocolate moulds, I'm going to play with the chocolate transfer sheets, I'm going to play with this car mould. I'm going to play with the rainbow mould and we're going to paint and dust till our heart's content. I'm also going to do you a lovely couple of these heart ones. Uh, Carol showed you these yesterday. I can do them hollow or you can do them as cake pops. So we'll do, a, we'll do a, a couple hollow and we'll fill some with a bit of cake pop mixture there and I'll show you how to seal the back of it. Um, I've also got a lovely uh, the uh, the zigzag the like the geometrical zigzag mold uh, this is the four cavity uh, mold that's gone on the website so I'm going to do a couple of those for you and we'll decorate those up and also uh, if we do get chance because it's football and the Euros are on everyone's loving it I was looking at Karen Davis's sports mold the new one look at that and could you just see that in milk chocolate lustered gold. I think that's such a good idea, especially since everyone is football crazy right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So I just thought if we got this lovely, just I'm not going to do all of them, I just thought that cup took my eye and I thought, do you know what, let's do that cup as well and let's luster it in gorgeous gold for the winner's cup. How is that one? Uh, I have our S&C tempered chocolate, I've got the white one and I've got the milk chocolate one. They're all back in stock. Carol is there trying to get hold of the dark chocolate as the supplier was out of stock but she's trying to get the dark chocolate. It, hello Lincoln. So I have a friend who keeps, but the doors are open and he keeps bobbing in and out to say hello to me. Um, these are 500 gram bags and they're on the website now. Chocolate transfer sheets. Of, um, you was going uh, they were going really daft on them at the beginning of the year and it slowed down but you know look at these I'll just move these bowls out of the way look at these transfer sheets now this is just a, 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 a tiny tiny selection and these are my half sheets as you know that I always do the, the ones for the photographs so I always cut the sheets in half so as to save them if you were to buy them off our website fully that is the full size of the sheet so I always cut them in half so that I'm not wasting the sheet. So that's the full size of the sheet. So I've got quite a few lovely half ones. And I thought, look at that. We've got footballs for Euro. We've got the bees for the summer. We've got daisies. We've got little like coloredy, they look like eggs, but you could treat them as like little coloured like little blobs. And then we've got the stripes. These stripes, they're pastel stripes. And then we've got the ones that go a bit more uh, vertical like on a di well, diagonal really, but you can if you wanted to, you can put your chocolate on so they go straight, but these are great. The one thing I've forgotten to get out, which I'm going to get out in a moment, is I want to do these and show you how to do the chocolate on that, but to do them in cutters as well, not just doing your truffles. They're great for when you do your truffles and your chocolates. They're absolutely great because you get the bottom, like that fancy box of chocolates, and you have the pattern on the bottom. But I want to get the butterfly cutter out. I want to get the heart shape cutter out. Uh, and look at well, another, uh, a little a, a blossom cutter. Just to show you, you could use these as gorgeous decorations on the tops of your cakes. You can do them on tops of ice cream if you wanted a bit of a treat on a bowl of ice cream. So we're going to do some of these transfer sheets as well. I think these are really exciting, I'm not going to lie. I'm so yeah. excited to see the magic. So as you all know, Karen's so good with chocolate now, which I've actually never seen her do these. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. So I'm not going to weigh the chocolate out because I'm going to be using so much today. Oh, one thing I forgot to say is we're also going to colour the chocolate. I'm going to colour some of the chocolate with the new colour mill ones, the ones that Carol used yesterday on her live, on the product, on the product live at 12 o'clock yesterday. I'm going to use a, a couple of these colours just to see what they look like. I'm going to colour uh, 
the white chocolate, the different colours, and then we'll use some on the transfer sheets. We'll use some in the uh, in the in the lolly mould, so you don't have to have a white lolly. We could have a, a lovely rust coloured one or a latte one, and we can dust those up. So we're going to colour a couple of these as well to show you how well Colour Mill colours white chocolate. Now remember, it is only white chocolate it colours. It will not change milk chocolate into a candy pink or a clay colour. So it is only white chocolate we can colour with these. They're also excellent for colouring your fondant as well. So without further ado, let's start with some white chocolate so we can colour some up. So we've got a couple of messages, everyone's still colouring right now. We have a lot of hellos and hellos. Hi, hi everyone. Um, hi Karen, hi everyone. Um, we've got a couple of has joined us, which is great because I hope he's feeling better. Um, Jenny said, oh I thought I was the first today India, I'm sorry you weren't but you, you were on your feed, I do apologise, I'll have to catch you next time. Uh, Annette has also um, said, afternoon, just sat down and made, um, uh, been making a chocolate biscuit cake, can't wait for it to be set. Oh I know, I think I'm coming around to your house later then, oh I love that chocolate biscuit cake, it is so delicious. It, I, I love it because it's, it's, it, it's, it goes really hard and it's, it's lovely with the chocolate but it's all them biscuits inside as well because they do them, have you seen them, and do, do, we've done it with Maltesers, you do okay. it with digestives, you do it with ginger nuts all at the same time Ooh. in the cake and it's set and it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much like a tiffin one but it's absolutely beautiful. We do like buttery biscuits on this channel, we do like buttery biscuits. And you do it in the ganaching kit so it sets as one solid block oh, and then really? you cut it into slices, yeah. I have to admit, I do like a ganache. So what I'm doing with um, the white S&C tempered white chocolate, I'm just melting it down in 30 second blasts. I don't want it to go bubbling hot, so I just do it in 30 second blasts, give the bowl a shake, and uh, we'll do it from there. And then when, half, when more, just more than half of the, uh, the buttons have melted, I'll then stir in the rest of it, so we're not, we haven't got a pot of boiling hot chocolate. Because as I said to you before, there's nothing worse than having the chocolate too hot as you would, uh, it would alter the temperature of your fridge. It's too warm in here to leave the chocolate out today, so I need to use the fridge just to set it a bit quicker. You can leave it out if you want to, but in this humid heat, it would take ages to set. So that's had a minute, and it's had a minute and 20 seconds. No, I'm just going to give it the other 10 seconds and see how we're going on. So then that has had 90 seconds. Don't just bang your microwave on. You must keep checking it because white chocolate and the dark and the milk chocolate, they can catch so easily. And once a bit of the chocolate has caught, you've ruined your whole batch because you taste that burnt chocolate through your whole batch. So just keep your eye on it. Don't burn chocolate, everyone. That's like the biggest sin that you can commit. <laughs> It just makes your kitchen smell awful as well. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly, I've got, there's, a, there's just uh, over half of the, the buttons left there. So I just want to make sure that I've got down these last eight seconds and then I'll be able to stir all this in because it will have had the two minutes then. So we've had a couple of people come in and say hello again as well. Uh, Moira said afternoon, making a snitch, uh, a snitch birthday cake and watching. So good luck for that. Um, a snitch or a stitch? I'm guessing. Well, she said snitch, but I think she might mean stitch. Or it could be. Is it one of those? Is it, what was those balls on Harry Potter? Were they snitches? Oh, they were. Yeah. So they it could be. Snitches. Yeah. So it could be a Harry Potter snitch cake, or it could be a spelling mistake and be a stitch cake. <laughs> is it Lilo and Stitch? Uh, that, that, on, the Disney, yeah, on the Disney Channel, yeah, once it, yeah. Stitch. Oh, that would be, I mean, either way, they're going to taste great and they're also going to be so cute. So as you can tell now, this bowl is only slightly warm. I had half, I had just under half of the buttons in there and I just give it a good stir and now this has gone lovely and creamy. It's all melted, but it isn't boiling hot. And this now, we don't have to cool down, the chocolate is tempered already. So what I am going to do is, I'm going to pour a little bit into these moulds. <laughs> We've just had a comment in, so June has just said, um, hubby said the microwave stopped, I said don't worry it's on here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a latte and we'll do... Um, a rust colour for now. So I'm going to make this one into a latte, squeeze a little bit in, 
Yeah, these colours look amazing. Like, I'm so excited to see this chocolate right now because we used them on the live yet, um, yesterday and they did wonders for the whipping it up. So, so. look at that. That's gone like a, a really nice, like, cappuccino-y colour there. Look at that. So that's a nice one. And then we'll just quickly do this one into roast attack. Do a little bit first, a little bit, and then where's my spatula? There it is. So with these ones, you can put more in and keep going deeper. Well, that's a nice rusty colour. Mm. And these are gorgeous autumn colours, these. So I can just be seeing, like if you're making, uh, like I'm doing chocolate day, chocolate leaves. And if you do, if you could go and get your leaves out of your garden, you could copy them and you could you, you draw them, draw a, a template, and you could make yourself some chocolate leaves for your tops of your cakes. That, uh, you could then put, do your buttercream flowers and have the chocolate leaves at the side of them and, and do a, an autumn cake. So look at those two colours there. So that's the latte and that is the rust colour. So I'm going to put all this into a bag because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. In fact, what I am going to do, because I want to show you these transfer sheets. I'm going to use, so I'm going to cut this sheet, because I don't want to waste all this sheet, so I'm just going to cut this sheet in half, just so that I can show you. So I've got the football transfer sheet there. So I'm going to pull a little bit of this latte one on and with my palette knife smooth it now I don't want to be able to I don't want to see the footballs through it because that means I've got a little bit too thin and it will break easy so and these are super to use so you could use them for your truffle chocolates if you've done some nice chocolates and then as you've made them and dipped them in chocolate you just pop them onto this transfer sheet you allow it to dry and then you peel them away from the transfer sheet and you have the pattern on the bottom of your chocolate so what I'm going to do now is that's just got to set a little bit so I'm just going to run and get my cutter now as this is the uh, S&C tempered chocolate it starts to set really great which is super um, Rachel Cook has just said, I've just finished my, uh, my first ever X, Xbox cake. Um, it's not as square as I'd have liked, but I use buttercream underneath the, uh, underneath the moulding chocolate. Um, I will eventually master ganache roll. So don't worry, I think it's all a learning process and definitely ganache is a beast of its own, but once you know how to tame it, you've, all, you've got it. Like you, so you just get on it. So that's just, great. Oh, there it is. I just wanted to try and find this, this lovely... Uh, this really, this really one, a couple of little flowers one, there we go, and I've got my heart-shaped one, and I'll also show you the PME. So I've just got, look at them, I've just got, grabbed a few cutters out of out of the drawer there. I've got the, the Blossom Sugar Art, the Lily one, so you could do a nice little Lily one. We've got a little Blossom Cutter. I've got the set of the four hearts, and we've got the little butterflies there, if you wanted to do the little butterflies. So I know it's a football one, so what we'll do for the football one is just grab the um, tins, there they are. Now me and Carol's changed this kitchen around, oh goodness, <laughs> we're doing open every kitchen door. So you see, look at these, I've got my round set here, so let's just, these are going to go say on top of a, you want to put them as a, a little on top of a cupcake, now that has started to set, so I'm just going to See that? I'm just putting the cutter in and it's, as you see, with it being tempered already, it's setting beautifully. So I've got that. Let's do a little heart one in case a little girl loves football. Um, does it matter on this one which way you do it? Because the footballs are all, you can change it around. The footballs are all different ways. On some of the transfer sheets, you must make sure that if you was doing the yacht one, that you're cutting where the yachts are going across. I've done it by an accident where my yachts were going down. And it's not, not good. It's not good for the people on the yacht. It's not. So we're just going to squeeze a couple of little blossom cutters in there. And then I can get a little lily one. Look at that. So then what I'm going to do with these is, I'm just going to pop these just onto the shelf. 
in the fridge and they're going to be done in under 10 minutes because that S&C chocolate has already started to set. Can you see it's going a matte colour, it's not running, it's started to come off the, there a little bit. So I'm going to put them in the fridge so it's nice and firm. Trish has just said how spooky, I've just finished using the new type of chocolate and transfer sheets as well. <laughs> oh, great minds think alike. <laughs> so then we have the rest of... Oh, where's my little card from? We'll dust it. I've got some chocolate left in this bowl now. Now remember, with this S&C tempered chocolate, the, the beauty is, if it starts to set just pop it back in the microwave to re-melt it you don't have to temper it like you do with the other chocolate so I'm just going to check this now yeah that started to set around the side of my bowl so I'm going to give that a quick five second blast in the microwave make sure the lids are all on my colours you don't want colour everywhere <laughs> absolutely not Just check in that, see if I can... you see and look at that. So I just want to give it a good stir around till all the the set chocolate has now all melted within it. It always looks so good when you do that when you're like <laughs> And look at these, if you were doing these for the top of a cake, you could do them as solid ones. Just save that there because I'll melt some more down with it. So I've got a solid one there. That started to set again. So I'll give that a quick. So it's great that you could actually get all your chocolate done. You could pour it into your bowl so you know how much you need. And you can re melt it again in the microwave, knowing you don't have to temper it again. And you could then just make all your chocolate in one batch in your bowls. So you don't have to keep melting the white. Here we go. That's a lovely rust one. So I'm going to do this one because I want to see what colour when I luster it with our wonder dust. I think a lovely ruby rose on top of that one. And I'm going to do all of. I'm going to do all these cars, but I'm going to do them in different. I'm going to do them in white and in milk chocolate. So I'm just giving that a bit of a shake. Oops, and the throat. Just want to make sure I've got all the car covered. And what I'll do for the moment is I'm just going to put that into the fridge to set. And in fact, I'm going to melt some more chocolate. Let's see, we've got some white here, haven't we? Where's my other? Here we go. Let's put some white in. So I'm making sure I'm getting these are covered nicely. Oh, look at that. There we go. So, ooh, <laughs> I'm having a final time here, you know. There we go. So we're going to do the rest of them in the milk chocolate now. So then we can luster them up. I've got enough white chocolate now to do uh, I'm going to leave that to one side, on top of there. I've got enough white chocolate now to um, do into a lolly mould, but before we do the lolly mould, I want to make it into a cake pop. Now, I have done on my lives before, sorry, my, my apron was dividing me. I, I have done on a live before when I made some lollies, and I actually made the S&C ice cream, sugar and crumbs ice cream with our gorgeous flavoured icing sugars. But I'd already had some set in the fridge and I was spooning it out. Now I've thought of a better way to do it, which I'm going to do another live on it, is it was a long process, but what we have to do is do the case of, say we use one of the other lolly moulds, that's a nice one, but we've got these on the website as well. We've got these ones on the website and I've done, I'm not with them. So you could coat those in your chocolate, put them in the freezer or the fridge to set, put them in the fridge to set, make your sugar and crumbs ice cream pour it into the set case then you'll have to put it in the freezer till the ice cream has practically set 
uh, firm enough for you then to, to coat the top with the chocolate and then we can coat those and we've got our very own sugar and crumbs ice cream choc ices or ice cream like lollies you wouldn't have to you can put a sticker if you want to or you could just leave them without a sticker you've got like a choc ice but I am going to do another live on that and show you the I'll show you from start to finish with the chocolate cases making the ice cream and then we're going to decorate them and have some gorgeous sugar and crumbs choc ices or ice cream lollies I think everyone, especially me, is looking forward to that. Um, Carol, uh, Karen's always good in the kitchen when it comes to ice cream and chocolate, so I feel like it will be your forte when you do it. I've got some cake crumbs here. And I've got some buttercream there. I just want to melt this buttercream a little bit more in the microwave. It's still a bit too firm. So we'll just melt this a little bit. Because I want to put, um, make sure that's crumbed up. I've just, I've just crumbed a, a, a couple of little cupcakes up there. It's some spare crumbs we had, some spare cake. It always comes in. If you've got spare off cuts, freeze them till you want to make some cake pops. And you've got the perfect uh, ingredients here for your cake pop. I got some buttercream that we already had made in the fridge. So I didn't have to make any more buttercream. That's a nice, smooth mixture now. So I'm going to put da, 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 there it is. Thank you very much. So we've got this here. So we're just going to make the buttercream mix with the, the sponge to make our cake pot mix. Wayne has just said it sounds great when you were talking about uh, the ice cream one. So I think everyone is looking forward to that. But well, you know what? Should we do that on Monday? Ooh, that's quite soon. Should we do that Monday? Is everybody alright for that for Monday? For our, our live at 11.30 on Monday? And we'll make the sugar and crumbs ice cream. We'll do the ice, we'll do the, the chocolate lolly moulds. And we'll make some sugar and crumbs um, ice, uh, cake, choc ices and... Ice cream lollies. How's that sound? Mm. I don't know how it sounds, but it's definitely going to taste <laughs> great. <laughs> so I've got some lovely cake pot mix in there. That's nice, and uh, it's all joined together. So then I can use spoons to smush that into my mould, into the chocolate. So now I've got that made and put that to one side. I'm just going to do a couple in white. I just need to get myself into that. Then I need to get myself a flat brush. And I just want to make sure that I'm going into all these crevices and I'm brushing the chocolate up the side. Now I'm using a brush on this because with a spoon, it doesn't get into those crevices and then I want to make uh, allow them to set a little bit and then do another coat just up the sides I won't need to do the base because it's gone into all the little zigzags so I know there's enough there's enough chocolate on the base it's the side you've got to make sure the sides are coated so that will just go to one side a moment just put that to one side so I think everyone is absolutely loving the, cake, uh, the ice cream um, ones that you'll be doing on Monday. Um, Helen has said yes please, Annette says it sounds good to me, so I think everyone's really excited for it. So here we go, I've made sure that my pattern is facing up to me on there. I'm going to pour some chocolate on. It always looks amazing when you do that. You pour it and it's like, woo! It is good, isn't it? Just <laughs> get this other, here we go. Because I'm going to melt some more chocolate in a moment as well. And we'll just smooth. So 
Louise just said, Cara and I have bought some sheets. Can you put them in the mold before you put the chocolate? I've tried. It didn't work very well for me. You could probably try a little bit in... Um, you'd, I tried it in one of the um, lolly moulds, I think I tried it in one of the um, the lolly moulds and the chocolate, it's, because it's it's plastic, it didn't lie completely flat on the bottom of the lolly mould and with putting the chocolate and it's very runny, it went under the sheet a little bit as well so I got some pattern on but I also got some chocolate on so it didn't actually work that well but if you find a way of doing it please let me know. Um, I, I really did try it a couple of times and I just couldn't stop the chocolate from seeping underneath the, uh, the transfer sheet. So as you can see with this, this, it soon starts to set. So I've got my diagonals, diagonals like that and I'm thinking I still want it to go diagonal. So I've got my heart when the chocolate is um, like, al like almost set. Yeah, you can't do it when it's completely set because it'll crack. Mm -hmm. So I wait till the, the till the mat, the glaze comes over it. You know it's almost setting and then you just do your shapes and then you leave them to set because then you can peel those away really easily from the sheet. If you do it when it's wet, it, the chocolate will stick to your, to your mold, to the uh, whatever cutter you're using. So you do have to wait till it's nearly set. Jamie has just said, is Karen doing the car in this session? I hope so. Well, you're doing the... Uh, I'm, doing, doing the I'm not doing the Porsche car, no, because we've done that. I've done, I've done a live on the Porsche car. I'm doing the little new cars. I've done a live on the Porsche car already, um, but we can always do that again in the future but and the same as the motorbike i've done a couple of lives with the motorbike now as well on the lives to show the motorbike working i did that on one of my thursday chocolate lives i think it was uh, not last week the week before and um, when i flavored the remember when i flavored the chocolate and i flavored it coffee and we've made our own we've made our flavor shots to show you what was going to be released in about six weeks time so i know i've done the bike on that thursday chocolate live as well so you can always look back on that one and see that done Honestly, I loved the motorbike. It looks so fun. And the greatness with this chocolate is you can leave it to set in your bowl and then use it again and again. You can just keep melting it down. Or I've done it where I've poured it into a Ziploc bag and I've allowed it to set in a Ziploc bag and then I just peel it out of the Ziploc bag, break it up and I melt it down again. And that's what that's happens if you do any of your moulds and they break, don't panic, just melt the chocolate, excuse me, excuse me, bless you. Yeah, it's sometimes a little hay fever -y today. Oh, yeah, my eyes are itching as well. So what I've done is, um, what I've done is, if something's broken the mould, don't panic, just take it out of the mould, put it in your bowl, break it down, melt it again and just do your model again that's the that's the joy of this tempered chocolate you could just remelt it and just redo it and remember don't take your chocolate out of your mold until you've got that frosted look on that like the opaque look on especially on your bwb molds and your your plastic molds make sure that it's got a bit opaque because then you know that the chocolate's set because it started to come away from the mold itself my chocolate gets a bit scientific for me when you you said to me for the first time well, it's because uh, it shrinks almost um, away from the mold when it falls i found that amazing just remembered something i didn't do got my lolly sticks here which are on the website i'm gonna have to do a bit of a repair i think on this i forgot to put my lolly sticks in can you believe that india so I'll put my lolly stick in there. So there we go. So I've got the lolly sticks in there. They luckily they're not touching the bottom of the chocolate, so it's not going to affect my chocolate there. But I'm going to re-paint uh, up those sides so that will seal my lollipop mold, uh, the lollipop stick in. Then we can get a thin layer of the um, gorgeous cake pop mix into it 
and then we flatten that down with a spoon and then we can do a nice layer on the back and we can let those set and we can peel those out and decorate those as well. So I've only done the two because I'm going to do two in milk chocolate as well. We have two sets of, uh, of sticks as well. We have coloured ones and we have normal ones. We do. We have those. We have some posh ones. It's by um, Lissy Lou, mm. and they're gorgeous. And like they're, they're like an, an acrylic lolly stick, which you can use. You can just put them in the dishwasher once they've been finished with. So if you're doing them for, especially for your family, just when they're finished with them, put them back in the dishwasher. They wash beautifully, and they, they come in sets of six, and you can use them time and time again. Or we do sell these uh, little wooden ones, which you can put in your recycle bin goes in the garden waste. <laughs> I'm so glad though that that's like conscientious thinking because I feel like sometimes baking gets a bit like not massively wasteful but like people throw a lot of things away so I feel like it's really nice to have that no waste option especially when you've got a budget as well. But it's nice especially for the, the Lissy Lou ones are gorgeous if you're having a special party. And you're having a, and you're having like a, if you want to, like these, if we can get some garden parties going and you want to really make some lovely cake pops or some ice cream lollies, you can use the gorgeous little new ones because you know you're going to use them time and time again. And it's something that they're, they're really nice. We've got plenty of different patterns on the website there. So here we go. You've just seen me melt this chocolate down again. So that's nice and creamy. I'm just going to get my, put this buttercream out of the way. We don't need that anymore. It's chocolate. Is that S and C tempered chocolate? It is. It's chocolate. So if we put on my brush, and I'm just—I don't need to do the bottom again. All I need to do is I just need to do the sides again, because I want to make sure that the sides have got a lovely coating of chocolate. The bottom, I can tell, is a nice—it's a, a nice even layer there. So I just actually want to get all these sides. And with doing that, I've sealed that hole where the lolly stick was pushed through. I always feel like this is such a therapeutic experience as well. I feel like <laughs> people think that chocolate is really hard to do, but you do make it look so easy, Karen. I love it, and I love working with the, the chocolate. I, I love doing it, and then I love this when I can do this in a bit, I can get all this out and we can do a bit of lustring and a bit of decorating, put some little pearls on and just make them look really elegant and, and lovely and party like. So now that I've coated those sides there, I'm happy with those sides. Just going round again, I just want to make sure I'm going to let them set in the freezer, in the fridge. Just while I've got the white chocolate there, so what I want to do with the white chocolate is I want to fill this gorgeous rainbow mould with some chocolate. Which now I find this easier if you put some into a piping bag. You've got a bit more control. Because if I've got any left in the piping bag. I will just uh, melt it again in the microwave, in the bag itself. The tiniest hole on the top, because I just want to have some control. Rainbows are so cute as well. They say that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three small white ones and I'm going to do the big one because then I want to paint the rainbow using our uh, using the wonder dust or using our colour splash dust as well and um, I can use a rejuvenator and make a little bit of paint and just show you how we can paint it. Need a steady hand and show you how I can paint the lines on it. So I've made sure that's in there. Now the best thing to do 
is when you've done that is just give your mould a little wiggle so you can see everything has been covered there let's move that bit like that everything's covered it's all nice like that so that's going to be popped in the fridge now to set and we can get that out now my first lot of transfer sheets I'll just wipe this down see that this chocolate sets so quick it's great you can see it just setting as little little baubles on the pink board there that's how good this tempered chocolate is so those people who don't like the tempering or can't get to grips with it the snc chocolate is absolutely amazing for you the snc tempered chocolate so you can see it's um it's nice and set the shapes are starting to come away from the chocolate the best way to take transfer sheets off is turn it upside down get hold of the corner and gently peel it away if you try to peel it away upwards sometimes you will leave some of the transfer on the sheet so I'm peeling that ever slightly away from it as you can tell there's nothing left on that sheet it's all on my chocolate Wow. And look at these. They're nice and thin, so it's not too big of a chunk of chocolate, but it's nice enough to go on the cake. You can make them thicker if you wanted to, but I think these thin ones like that are absolutely perfect for decoration. And also, you could just put that as a nice little decoration into a bowl of ice cream or a, a bowl of mousse if you've made any mousse or anything like that, and you've got a perfect decoration there. How good is are those like that? I think they're perfect for this season and honestly I think they're so lovely. Like that was so easy. I was expecting it to be such a chore, but you know what? That was so quick as well. Like, and the and then these ones again I'm just going to carefully peel away. So always peel away from yourself. I've got one there, but you see that bit's going to go into the ice cream. <laughs> so that's, um, oops, there it is. Yeah, there is one that was hiding from me. Now that didn't quite cut out with my cutter. So get my cutter on there. And there, look at that. Just cut that bit off like that. They look amazing. So don't worry, the very, if the very bottom end had, had rooted a little bit, I don't know why it's done that, the very bottom end like that, don't worry about it. Just pop that back into the ice cream or that would be going into your cake. So if, if you're doing a decoration, it would go into a little bit of buttercream. So no one would see that. It doesn't go to waste. And if you didn't really want to use it, then it's your treats. Put it in a little bag or a little container in the fridge and you've got your little treats there as well. Well, question. If you mess up a transfer sheet and you want to start again with those shapes, when you melt, if could could you remelt that chocolate down, and would the design still be kind of stuck in the chocolate, or will it just return back to a melted chocolate? I've melted, I've melted the milk chocolate down, and it was fine. I'm not too sure with the white chocolate whether it goes a little bit. With the white chocolate, you see what I'd probably do was I'd probably melt all this if it was the white. I'd melt this down again and I'd probably put it into uh, milk chocolate, oh. so that because I've done it with milk chocolate and milk chocolate was absolutely fine. But with it, with the white chocolate, sometimes you might get those little. You'll get the little the little colours through it. But we'll tell you what, we'll try that in a moment. We'll melt some of that down to see where it goes. Like, but I usually put that with the milk chocolate then to melt it down, so I'm still not wasting the chocolate. Now just remelt some more white chocolate, especially once it nice and white. But we could sit, melt it down and put a colour with it and see what goes if we, if we colour it. That sounds like a plan. Denise has said, wow, love 
little bit. I, I need to order some of those. The transfers, we have got so many on the uh, website and they are absolutely gorgeous. I think we've got transfer sheets for every, every occasion, every season. We've got lots of sports ones. We've got flower ones. We've got stripy ones. I think we've got, uh, we, we, like I said, we've got rugby balls, golf balls, ten, uh, not rugby, footballs, tennis balls. Uh, we've got ones with uh, flamingos on and love hearts and kisses and we've got lots. So please take a look at our website. If you just put transfer sheets in, in the website, it brings them all. We put transfer sheets in the uh, search bar, it brings them all up. And we have got such a lot of designs for them. I'm just going to get myself a little tray to put these chocolates on. They said I've got all the doors open in here and it is so humid in here. They're not, they're not melting, but I'd rather just get them to one side because the microwave is throwing some heat out underneath as well. Well, look at these. And they're just great. They're just great as on, on, your, on your cakes. You can put them as you, in, into your, your cupcakes on the top. Or as I said, into a big cake. You could do them as you, make some leaves and do them as leaves. Get any of your cutters out you've got. And you can use your cutters and you could make your leaves and you can decorate everything up. And you've got them for ice cream as well. So get, get your unicorn cutters out and get your football cutters out. Everything like that. It'll be the possibilities brilliant. possibilities are literally endless. Absolutely. But I guess that's so great about them because they're so versatile as well. Like you never know when you can use them and then you'll just be like, oh, you know what, I'll just add this to it. Well, that's just I'm just getting a couple of teaspoons. That's what I'm sure of. The teaspoons just put in. Here we go. So I just want to get a little bit of the cake pot mix and put that... So I'm making sure that it is going down to all the corners, but I do want to press it down so that it is nice and uh, compact in there. But I want to also make sure I've got a few millimetres of gap at the top so the chocolate will pour onto it. Let me just do this other one because then I like to get a little palette knife. So I'm using a spoon at first just to pat it all down. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Indra, I started to to wander then didn't I? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens when you when you when you do the cake pop. <laughs> Feel free to shout at me, I don't mind. <laughs> Karen! <Yeah>. Move! <laughs> move! <laughs> um, so Sue Jones has just asked, how long did the transfer sheets last for? As in um do you mean transfer sheet chocolates or do you mean the actual transfer sheets themselves? I'm thinking the transfer sheets themselves. As long as you keep them nice and safe in your cupboard? endless i've had those since oh when we first started doing them um i probably had them going on for nearly a couple of years now in some of them because we've done we've done we've, we've been carol's been updating the designs and getting more and more designs as we go along she's been sourcing some gorgeous designs but i've had them in the cupboard i'll just keep them nice and flat in the cupboard you can get yourself a or get yourself a little wallet put them in the wallet and uh, they just keep there So there we go, I've made that nice and flat. I just wanted, I had a little bit too much in there where I wasn't going to get. Because these are the nice, these are, these are what I call the, the baby ones, these ones. It's, it's, it's a, just a nice size for a toddler, this. <laughs> so we've got that like that. I've got my chocolate here, but I have some in my bag. And as I said, this is where it comes in and if the bag is sealed at the bottom because the chocolate has just set at the bottom squeeze the chocolate out as you can see it come on it comes out there we go into the bowl oh they already look so good so making sure that it's all getting covered So Mandy's just asked, what size cavity are those, please, Karen? Well, if you just give me a second, Mandy, I will measure them for you. Ooh! We do have tape measures now. We do have lots of tape measures. <laughs> so I've made sure the chocolate has gone to the very edge. So any little bit of chocolate 
that may have seeped over I can just scrape that down like that but you can also break it off a little bit when you bring the the, uh, the lolly out of the mold but I just want to just tidy it up a little bit there we go You're being so neat today. Where is Karen? Like, <laughs> you have not made a mess once again. So I'm just going to put those back into the fridge now. As you can see, that's already started to set. That's because my cake pop mix is lovely and cold. The chocolate's gone on. Then the S&C tempered chocolate sets so quickly that that started to set now because it's got a lovely matte colour. So I'm going to put those into the fridge just to help them along the way and then we'll get them out. I think we missed, um, we just had a couple of comments saying that uh, apparently we missed one of the uh, football <gasps> ones in the scraps. You clever people. <laughs> oh, you observant people. That is ace. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As you said it, I looked over to the chocolate and thought, that looks like a blossom. You're well like, done. You're like, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on, on that one tray. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that. Um, da -da -da -dum. So those are silicon, aren't they, those moulds? They are silicon, yeah. I'm just going to squeeze the chocolate out of this bag now because I just want to do a couple of these heart ones in the white. If we, do the, if we deal with the white chocolate first and then we can do everything with the dark chocolate. So I'm just making sure. So that's, you know what, let's give that a five second blast in the microwave again. Someone said as well, we've got to wish them luck because uh, they're making a new recipe. Um, I'm not sure what it says, but basically they're making they're making something and the last time they made it, it blew up their microwave. So I oh. wish them luck. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, I wish you the best of luck. I know, stay safe, Kit. <laughs> Kit, what are you? That Kit Curran, what are you making? He said it is a malt, but I'm not Isomalt. Sure. Oh, is it isomalt? Oh. Is that, is that no? It's, it's, it's the isomalt when Carol made those gorgeous sails and she made those bowls out of the oh. isomalt. It goes really hot and that up. But well done. Yeah, um, tell us that you're still alive, Kit. <laughs> <laughs> so that is now, I've just given that a quick blast in the microwave just to get it from going around the sides so that I'm not wasting any chocolate. Because as I said, the beauty of this is, I don't need to temper it again, I can just keep melting it down. So I want to pour a little bit into these moulds, because these need a good couple of coats, these moulds, to make them a nice um, a thick side. So I've got my lolly there, yeah, my, lolly. my brush there, so I'm just going to brush the chocolate up the sides, making sure I'm getting into all the little corners. Kiss has just said thank you. I might use a pot, uh, a pot this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you go. I'm going up the sides there, and you can see that I have still got chocolate on the bottom. I want to make sure the bottom is still covered. It's not too thick, but it's got a nice layer at the bottom. So I just got these ones as well. So Mandy's just said, I've got some s and uh, chocolate. Do I just melt it till it's just melted or mix and melt until it's all melted? What I do is, Mandy, I melted it until nearly, uh, uh, just over half of the callots had melted and, you, and it's quite a runny at the bottom and then I just stirred it in until all the uh, buttons had melted. If you find that you've probably not done it quite long enough and the buttons aren't melted, another 10 seconds in the microwave just so that your buttons have then melted. But you, you could melt it completely in the microwave but you'll find your chocolate is very hot and therefore you can't put it in your because it'll alter the temperature of your fridge. It'll take your fridge temperature oh, sky high. And remember, you've got the food in there. So I like to get it just so it's cool. But if you do find your buttons haven't melted, just give it a 10 second blast in the microwave and another good stirring, and you'll be absolutely fine. Let's put those in the fridge just to set until I want to give it another coat on the side. Oh, 
And then Wendy's just said, I've made uh, love heart chocolate bombs for Valentine's. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. So can you see here, I've got the opaque look. And you can tell the chocolate there, look at that. As you look at it, the darkness goes because the chocolate is coming away. so easy just like that so we've got those there we've got our three rainbows i'll dust these up into different cut into uh, different lusters and then we'll actually paint this one and we'll do that in a moment so that's going to go on my my tray of treats ready for doing that in a bit so move over transfer and that's a lovely look how nice and thick that one is It'll be one, it's one you could probably stand it, if you, a little bit of support, you could stand that on top of a cake. You can put it flat onto a cake. You could put it on the, on the board. But they are great. So a little bit of, um, you could, if you were doing it onto a cake, you could use probably warmer plate, melt the chocolate like that, and you'd stick that and it would stick onto your fondant. But look at them. So we're going to paint those up in a little while. What was I doing? I know what I was doing. She's a woman on a mission. Let me see. You see, that was that was that transfer sheet one. Oh, I see. So the transfer sheet isn't there because it's all gone into there. Remember, they are completely edible. It's just made it into a different colour. So I could would probably uh, either, I I'd probably uh, pop that into some dark chocolate so I'm not wasting it. I could pop it into dark chocolate or you could if you wanted to put it into some more white chocolate and see if you could get a lighter colour. But it's not wasted, it's just gone to a chocolate but because of the colour of the, of the transfer it sent it this gorgeous, um, I don't know, like a, a darker peach colour hasn't it? It does look very peachy colour. Yeah so you know what, let's not waste it. Got a bit of transfer sheet there, haven't I? Ooh. Just to show you it can be used again. Just make sure that's nice and flat, there we go. A little bit thicker, just leave that to set a little bit. Put that to one side. Pop that over there, then I can cut that out when it just starts to. Don't need that cake pop mix for now. What was I up to, India? I've got some rust there that I did with um, the car. Let's melt this down and do a transfer sheet with it. There's only three seconds on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's done quickly. Don't really quick that. Oh, so that colour I think will go really well with this mould. I do, and I'm thinking I might even put it in that and do a nice gold over it. Ooh, that all looks so nice yeah. with the sparkling gold. Yeah. Mm. Or even the deep rich gold. One of those lovely gold, you know, that makes you feel like getting a really gold trophy up. Mm. Let's have a look. The one thing about melamine bowls is, ladies, be very careful, and gentlemen, they get warm. And if they get, if they get too warm, you can transfer your chocolate back to uh, a different bowl. Now, one thing with using silicone moulds, your chocolate does not come out shiny, but it doesn't matter for this because I want to luster it. So I'm just going to pour this. I'm hoping there's enough in here. <laughs> it's quite a big, uh, a big cup, isn't it? It is. So I want to get my little palette knife. And let's just... Uh, we're getting this 
This is where it comes in handy if you're also using a piping bag. So um, someone just asked, uh, please do you mix uh, chocolate with colour and that's yes. So we're using two colours today and we've been colouring our white um, tempered chocolate. So that is the white one, not the milk one, the white one because unfortunately milk is too dark to get a good colour out of it. You can't colour milk chocolate, it just doesn't colour. It just doesn't colour. Doesn't colour. So I've used, on this one, this one is the, the white S&C tempered chocolate coloured with the colour mill rust colour. And look how good this rust colour is. And the uh, where I did the transfer sheets before, that was done with um, the latte colour from Colour Mill as well. So I've got that now, I've covered the whole of the mould and just making sure every nook and cranny has been covered. So I just want to get a bit more into the handles, I just want to make sure that the handles are nice and thick because they're the ones that are, the, the one, the ones that are most likely to, uh, to break if you build it out too soon. So that's going to go in the fridge to set now. Because I want that to be lovely and firm, this one. Especially because I want to take it out and have a full trophy there. <laughs> so, uh, someone just asked, how do you make it shine as well? So, silicon moulds. Silicon moulds, you can't have it shiny in a silicon mould. These moulds, these plastic moulds and the BWB moulds are very shiny. Um, I'm hoping when my cars are set in a moment you'll be able to see how shiny they are because the tempered chocolate has a gorgeous shine on it uh, i don't know if you saw the feet yesterday that carol showed you that i did i'd done some funny feet out of the most the shine on them was incredible if i can find them in the fridge put that into the fridge now yeah the tempered chocolate does absolute wonders for the shine like it always comes out looking gorgeous So these were the funny feet moulds. And I did these and I, and I, and I, play, I, I painted, I was playing with um, sprinkles and doing the toes but can you see the shine? You can definitely see it on the, on the dark one but the white one is, can you see the lights going through the white one? So that's the tempered chocolate I did the other day and look at the shine on them. I didn't want to lose them because the shine was so good when I took them out of the mould. I just decided just to decorate the toes up instead as though they'd had the toenails done. <laughs> so that's how good these, and that's because it's, this is in these ones. Get the funny feet out where they've gone. It's in these ones, so you get the shine in these. But in the Karen Davis and the Katie Sue, with them being proper thick silicon, you don't get the shine on the chocolate, but you get the shine in these ones. And these, these are all on the website as well, and these are absolutely super, super, these funny feet ones. They're absolutely super. Again, it was like I've been doing today with the other moulds. It's just making sure that you, I paint the chocolate into the toes and all around to make sure I get up every single toe. And I just did it a couple of times uh, to make sure I had a nice thick edge to it. Then I filled it with cake pot mix, and then I put the nice layer of chocolate on the back. As you can see, they're very solid. They've been in the fridge. They're fine. The sticks aren't falling out. <laughs> they look absolutely amazing, honestly. Everyone loves that mould as well. They just love how cute the feet come out. Um, and then we also have a really good one. Uh, it has like little paw prints on it. Yes, it so does. Cute. I've done that one before, haven't I? The, that, the doggy one. It's so cute. Uh, Kate's just said. Uh, is the rainbow mould in the in the what's new section? Yes, it is. Carol put that on yesterday. So this was uh, Carol put this on yesterday. It's a BWB mould. It's a single mould, but it has the large rainbow and it has the six small rainbows. It'd be in the what's new section, or you could look at yesterday's um, live, and it should be it should be in the wish list there as well, shouldn't it, India? Yes. So you've got two places to find it. But you put BWB rainbow, and it should bring it up for you even in the search bar. It's a super mould that. You see what my feet look like? Not be, oh no, I'm putting those in the fridge 
You see, it's that warm here, that's, they're not setting out of the fridge at all. Um, Lynn just says, I miss the cake pop mix. Is it baked? It's baked sponge. It's just it's just off cuts of sponge that I had from a from a from a, a cake that was being carved, and I just saved it all up into a bag. I froze it. I've brought it out and I've just mixed it up with some buttercream. So it's cooked sponge mixed with buttercream, and that's all you have to do. And then so you've got a perfectly good cake pop mix there because it's all cooked sponge with buttercream. So that started to set there. So let's just do one big heart. I'd let that set a lot, hadn't I? So I'm just going to put that now into the. I'm just going to put that into the fridge, just to set. Actually, no, let's not. Guess what I did? Schoolgirl ever? Look how I've saved my transfer sheet. Oh no! <laughs> Karen. So I've got a perfect heart, but I have no colour on it. So here we go again. <laughs> Oh, I remember doing that one time and I looked everywhere I'm thinking, but I've done it, I've done it, I've done the transfer and it turned out I'd just done a plain one. Was a, it had a shiny side down. So you, it's shiny side down and you can feel the transfer there so you need to have the transfer facing up to you. It does really help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank, thank goodness we have you going. There's a few more seconds for that. To be fair though, I always like it when uh, when we work it all out together like yeah. this because I can guarantee you people are making the same kind of mistakes and bits and pieces at home but it's so good to know that we've got you to kind of work for it. Like I said before was, just if you do that and you've made that little schoolgirl error there, melt your chocolate down go, oh, another five minutes. Melt your chocolate down and just pour onto the right side of the transfer sheet. You can feel it because it's the rough side up, shiny side down. There we go, and I'm just going to pop that to one side to um, dry again a little bit. Put that over there, that's fine. Everyone in the comments is just saying, you're so funny, oh, oh Karen. <laughs> The best was when I was looking for it. I, I, only, I, I was there thinking, but I've done it, I've done it. Then realised I had like a brand new looking transfer sheet. All the chocolate was on the uh, the shiny side. <laughs> so yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's before. not the end of the world at all. So we've done the white chocolate now. So S and C milk chocolate. Ooh, this is where I get excited. I absolutely love the milk chocolate. Just gonna pour half a bag in again. Smells delicious. Mm. Just get myself a couple of clean little palette knives there. See as we've been using everything. New stuff. Ready. Ready to colour. So we'll put these to one side. Oh, I've got a lot of washing up again. <laughs> so, Joe, you just asked, um, can you not put the cutter on the sheet and then remove it? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. No, I wait till um, it starts to set the chocolate. And then when it's got that, sh it's got a matte look over it, and it's not set hard. I'll then put the cutter in it. I don't just put the cutter and leave it and wait for it to set. I'd rather just uh, wait for the chocolate to matte over and then cut it. And you get a nice defined line. Then you can put that in the fridge and then bring it out when it's set. Because if you're doing quite a lot, you'd have to have a lot of cutters in one sheet. But if you're just if you if you're doing a whole lot of hearts or a whole lot of footballs, the circles, you need to have that one cutter and be going down in in the line, so you're not wasting too much of your transfer sheet. So you can hear that's still solid. Another thirty seconds. I think what I like about chocolate is as well, like you kind of have to treat it with respect. Yes. Like you can never brush it. You can never like go. Come on, you've just got 
like let it be and then it will sort itself out. Oh, I love that transfer sheet. So we've got a lovely bee transfer sheet. And then I thought, look at this lovely, this lovely daisy one as well. So again, I don't want to waste too much of the sheets because I like to keep doing these lives time and time again for you. And we don't need to have loads of bees and daisies in the kitchen. So I'm going to cut those down. I've got a quarter of the buttons had melted there, so I just want to make sure another quarter melts as well. So I've got over half. I'm just looking at what I'm doing. I'm going to do um, a couple of chocolate rainbows, uh, three chocolate rainbows, and I'm going to do, I've got some cars doing, I've got some lollipop moulds to do. I've got some, uh, I can do some chocolate hearts with the cake pops in as well for you. Now as you can see from there, you can still see I've got full buttons, full buttons there. But if I just give it a stir, you can see they're all starting to melt. So this is what I was saying, Mandy, if you thought you hadn't melted it down enough and they weren't melting, then another 10 seconds in the microwave, it should be absolutely fine. And I'm just going to stir it until, because the heat of the other chocolate has melted those buttons really quick. But I do want to make sure there's no lumps in there because we don't want any lumps to go into your bag because that's what it's usually, it, it clogs the end of your piping bag up. So look at that, gorgeous and smooth. The bowl is cool, so I know that I can put this straight into the fridge when I've got my bowl. So look at that. I so. just love how it looks. It just looks so lovely. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour... A bit of chocolate into here, here we go. I just want to do my rainbows. And as you saw, I had some chocolate left over. I just squoze that uh, white chocolate before straight back into the white chocolate pot. So here we go. Just going to cut the end off, the very end, because I want to have some control over the bag. So let's do. I did three white ones. And let's have a chocolate rainbow as well. Because I'll show you this painted up as well, how it looks. So you can see it in both white and chocolate. Just gives you that little bit more control when you do it with a piping bag. So I'll just turn it upside down so it doesn't come out. Give the mould a nice little wiggle. And I'm going to put that straight into the fridge to set. So it is, it is hot at the moment, people, so we definitely suggest that you put yeah. your, your chocolate in the fridge. <laughs> well, that's still a bit wobbly because I did that I did that chocolate a bit thick on that transfer sheet, so it's still quite wet on that. So I would have I'm just leaving it on the side just to get that gloss over, then I know the matte finish that I know that I'll be able to use my cutter into it. So we have the daisy sheet, shiny side down. <laughs> you can feel the transfer sheet there so you can pour a little bit on so you can oh, so remember you can use this with your chocolates if you're making truffles or making little chocolates you can just put those straight onto the transfer sheet and the bottom of the chocolate will be covered or you can use it like I'm doing to cut some gorgeous shapes out to use as decorations uh, for cakes or for your desserts so that is a little bit thin on that side I don't want it too thick because I just want them to have a nice taste of chocolate rather than like too much so that's that nice daisy one I've left that free there because I can use that again I will not be throwing that away <laughs> that bit will get cut off and will get used again and then let's see what it looks like with the bees because that yellow should come through beautiful on this 
So again, we're just going to go halfway up. Now, as I said, with the daisies is okay because the daisy flowers are going everywhere. Now, look at the bees. The bees are upside down. So I don't forget they're upside down. I'm turning my transfer sheet around. So I've got the wings on the top. So when I put my <laughs> butterfly shape in and my heart shape in and my, my circle shape, the bees will still be on the top. I don't want to put my heart shape in like that and have the bees that way or upside down. They just don't look good with the bees upside down. <laughs> so when I find my other that gorgeous little heart shape, there it is, I'm going to use that one. So let's put that, as you can tell with that one, it started, because I've done it nice and thin, it has started to go a matte colour already. But it's still got some wet patches on that, so I'm just going to leave that a little bit longer. That started to dry out. Yeah, it's unbelievable. How quick it, how quick it does it, it's really good. So cute little butterflies, and that butterfly, and you know what, let's just do a few different little, little blossoms. Just to show you the different things you can have in any other shape and any other cutter, any cutter you've got in your cupboard is absolutely great to get out. And you can just just play with any cutter on these transfer sheets. And as you can see that it's nearly done now. I mean that's hardly any time at all, is it? That was I was stuck a bit of chocolate on there. Wow. I thought my sheet won't move. <laughs> so that's very nearly set. So what we're gonna do now is we'll have a nice circle. I'm just going to just hold the chocolate down a little bit just so I can get the cutter out. You just got to be very careful. Let's have a blossom. Very carefully bring it out. We'll have a heart shape. Do a butterfly. This is setting lovely and quick. As you can tell, the chocolate's starting to lift off already. Is that how you know when it's like doing good? Yeah, but I don't want it to lift off too quick because I want it to go nice and crisp in the fridge. Because that's it. I can st it's still a little bit soft. So what I'm going to do is that I know I can just oh just fit that in there for a nice another little um, blossom and I can probably get oh just get that butterfly in there as you can see the part of it's come off already but I'm going to leave that because the chocolate still feels a bit soft but I don't want it to bend so that's just going to go into the fridge now as you can tell the pattern is lovely on the off cuts there mm. So we'll leave that to, to just to cool, well it's not cooled down, it's cooled down now, just to really set in the fridge so it's nice and crisp. I'm so surprised that the colours have come out so well because you wouldn't think it would on the milk chocolate but it really does. And that's why I wanted to use some milk chocolate on these ones. Again, we've got the bees now, so we'll have that one and we'll do a circle. <laughs> and let's do a heart shaped one but we're making sure we're keeping the bees the right way up no one wants to see a bee flying upside down on the cake <laughs> I guess it'll be bee fuddled <laughs> I can't believe no one else has been putting bee puns into the, into the chat I remember when we did the egg one and everyone had really good egg jokes they were excellent, weren't they? They were excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let's get another little circle one up there, and then I can put these straight into the fridge and show you these ones when they come out in a moment. So I've got those there. Mm -hmm. And then let's see how the cars are going on. The cars are feeling fine, but because I'm here, 
I'm going to put some chocolate ones in so I can get them all out together. So what I will do is I've got my bit of chocolate here. Let me just fill this one up just so it's not... Um, not wasted anything out of the bag. There we go, that's nice and used out of there. Right, my hands. Give that a shake. It's started to set in the bag already. There we go, we've got that a nice shake, so that's covered everything there. I'm just going to put another little tiny spoonful in just to make sure I've got all the bottom of the car covered. Yep, yeah. and then let's just. So these would be great as little treats if you want to do some gorgeous uh, little cars uh, to go around the base of a cake for, or little treats for your children. You could have it just, if they fancy some chocolate, you could make a little bit of chocolate for them. So Linda has just asked an interesting question. They said, would it work if I put melted chocolate onto a transfer sheet, wrap it around a cake, and then peel off the transfer sheet when the chocolate is set? Ollie did that, yes, he did. Ollie did that, Ollie did that, he made some, um, when he was doing his Holy Grail, he was uh, on one of his lives on the Monday Night Live, you look back for Ollie the Choc on his Monday Night Live, he made a chocolate cone and he put the chocolate on it, he rolled it uh, until it set and then he peeled the transfer sheet off and he had the transfer sheet all around the cone which he then filled with his Holy Grail. Ooh, lovely. And it looked really good, so I know it, that, that will work for you, yes. So I'm just melting that chocolate just so I can get it off the sides. Because then I think I'll look at the white ice. I'll look at the uh, the white chocolate ice lollies. Because then we'll melt some more dark, melt some more milk chocolate to make some chocolate lollies. And then I've made chocolate and white, and we've coloured some chocolate as well. So you can see how easy it was to colour the chocolate. So I've just giving them a little shake, and then they're going to go in the fridge to set. I always love the little shake that you do just before it. It kind of like gets it ready and it's like, Well, you know, the little shake, it's great. The little shake, it just evens it all out in your mould. So I'm just giving this a good wipe up now. Put that chocolate in there. Put that chocolate in there. You know what? I'll melt all that in there as well. <laughs> Nothing going to waste in a bit. We'll just melt all these bits down. Now that has started to set. So let's get a nice big heart shape in there that over there because it looks like that <laughs> I think I broke the bottom of the heart oh no <laughs> I think I did I want to get these lollies out now for you though it looks like that it's a that heart is really your heart's broken along with it <laughs> So there we go with that. I'm going to put those shapes over there. Just want to tidy up a little bit so we've got, we haven't got oodles of chocolate everywhere. Not done bad today though, have I? No, no, you've not got any on you. It's just uh, just on the workspace. There we go. So that's nice and clean. Just want to dry that off a bit because with these. Uh, lolly moulds now the best way to get them out is to turn them upside down um, you have to be really careful and then um, if it was doing four at once you I've done four at once and you have to be really careful because I've got the two here I'll just show you peel back the top don't press down on the the lollipop because you might crack the chocolate you're just holding it while you're peeling back both of them and you're just peeling back really carefully. We're just peeling back to the end. And then I'm going to get the lolly stick and push the lolly out. Oh, they look so good. They look 
good. And then if you've got any little edge around there, we just have to break those little bits off. And then we're going to dust. And we'll just wipe this down again because it's so warm. The chocolates, uh, the little bits start to melt straight away. Let's dip in. So I'm going to dust these two up in a bit. So I'm going to put these back into the fridge just so that they're nice and we can get some lusters out and get some uh, sprinkles out and some edible glue and we're going to we're going to really make these into posh lollies but let's do some chocolate ones so that we can do all four at the same time mm. Ooh, Do Griffin has just said can't wait to see the cars Karen yes so you see, everyone's excited you see well, what I'm going to do now I don't want to waste this so I'm just going to put that in that bowl, a bit more chocolate, and let's just melt all that together because then I'll be able to do myself two chocolate ones. And I'm, oh, I've got some hard ones to do as well yet. What am I talking about? Oh, you have? I'm just bringing those out now. They were there looking very sad at the back of... They were like, pick me! They were there going, what about me? And I'm thinking, where's my white chocolate? Here it is. <laughs> Here's my wife. Did I cook those twice? Can you remember? Um, I don't think you did. Right, so what we'll do now is... that back in. Gina's just said, do you marry it? Um, love, uh, love the shape on the lollies. They're great, aren't they? They're, they're a really lovely shape. Here it is. I was looking for... My little brush there, so I'm just going to break the white chocolate off that brush. So you can wash these brushes, they've been fine in nice warm water. I just wanted to uh, break that so it's a bit softer so I can brush, brush, brush my chocolate on it. So here we go. So I'll get my brush and just coat. I must make sure that the, 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 the sides are coated lovely because that's that's the secret to getting them out and having them as a nice uh, whole heart. Otherwise you could find out that your edges could just break off slightly. Um, June has just said, how much chocolate would you say to you have used um, today, please? Well, on, at the moment I've used a full, this is uh, the end of the full bag of 500 grams. You've seen how much I've done and I've not, I've still got some, I've only used Two 500 gram bags. I've still got some chocolate in there for my milk chocolate. So I've used a full bag of SNC white chocolate, and you've seen what I've done up to now. I've coloured it. I've done white hearts. I've done white lollies. I've done some cars. I've done rainbows. I've done some chocolate transfer sheets. So I've done a lot with the 500 grams there, and I've still got some left now for uh, making sure that my cake pops will be fine. So with this was great. With them being in the fridge, then it was great because they've gone. Uh, they were nice and chilled and it started to set. So I'll just leave that a moment to set and then we will put some cake. But while I'm here, let's melt my chocolate down. Everyone is so excited to see how all of these turn out. You've done so many today. It looked all so good. Well, what we'll do, as soon as I've done these and we've got everything out, and we've got everything on the tray, we'll clear all these away, make it nice and tidy, and then we'll just do some lustering and some painting, if that's all right with all you viewers. I thought you were going to say, it's all right with you, India. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, why not? <laughs> no, with my lovely viewers. <laughs> So I wanted to show you this while that chocolate's melting there, I wanted to show you, I'm not doing this one today because I've already done this one already and Carol's shown it. This is this gorgeous uh, silicon, the big heart one and I wanted to do, I wanted to get a lot more done but I've had, I've had done loads today so I wanted to get as many, lust, uh, as many transfer sheets as I could, I wanted to get the lolly moulds done, I wanted to get the hearts, I wanted to get the cars done. So I just wanted to show you that and for the ladies who, and gentlemen who didn't see it yesterday, that's the heart. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It, that's it, and that's lusted with our purple haze. So I just wanted to show you that. I don't want to make it again today because I've, I've made such a lot of chocolate already. 
I mean, this chocolate that I've made today, you do know I'll probably end up melting it down and using it again. Because we're not going to eat it, are we, India? No! No, we're not. No. <laughs> we're not going to eat it. We'll probably end up melting it down and using it again, because that's the, 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 the beauty of this chocolate. So I'm just making sure that this is all melted down nicely. I wouldn't dare eat the chocolate, Karen. That's <laughs> That's melted down, so let's pour some into the mould I haven't got the, the white in. Let's pour some into there and some into there. I'm only doing a couple. We don't need to do like every single mould. I've got my clean brush, I'm just going to dust, uh, dust it, I'm just going to brush that up the sides. Now you could use a spoon if you wanted to, but I find using the brush just works that bit, I've got that bit more control and I can see what is being coated up the side and I can make sure that all the sides are coated and the bottom is still coated. Yeah, it was so exciting when, uh, when you came out with that heart. Um yesterday it was uh, honestly i think everyone's jaws just dropped it is lovely though it's lovely i mean it's one that's great you could um you could fill it with something if you wanted to or you could just have it where they have those lovely surprises underneath you know there's somebody's putting a like a will you marry me or a, a ring underneath it but look at that and all on sunday telling your dad or your partner how much you love them oh it's gorgeous and it's so shiny So I'm just going to pop, oops, so that's a bit of chocolate, just make sure that's there, just making sure, just make it, if you see any bits that aren't covered, then just quickly, before you put it into the fridge, just cover it. Just making sure that the bottom is still covered okay, yeah. Oh, shout out Sharon on, um on uh, YouTube has said just one coat for the white chocolate so far so thank you well so I've just done. that's why I've just done the second coat of it now so thank you so much for keeping your eye on that do you know while we're here let's just have Let's just have a football. Just saw the mould in there and I thought, you know what? <laughs> so just give that, you see that, just give that a nice wobble. You always do this, Karen. You're always like, oh, I'm finished, don't worry. And then no. just as you're about to take it out, you go, ooh, ooh, ooh I might as well just do another one. <laughs> the cars are coming out in a moment. So let's just get. Yeah, it's so satisfying when it all drips in. It is, isn't it? <laughs> so again, I'm just going to use my paintbrush and I'm just going up the sides. It's quite a deep zigzag with this one, so I want to make sure that the zigzags are covered at the bottom because I don't want any cake to poke through the zigzags. That's why it only has a thinner layer of chocolate on the, the back side of it because you've got a nice thick layer of chocolate on the front. So I've got those two. They've been nicely coated, so we'll put those into the fridge for a moment while we see how the cars are doing. And how would and you uh, go about cleaning uh, this mould then? Warm soapy water. Warm soapy water. What about the dishwasher? I'm not too sure if they're dishwasher... I'm not too sure with those moulds because they're quite, um, quite a nice one. You know, like a, I uh, they're not a solid. I put Karen Davis and Katie Sue because they're quite a solid silicone one. But when they're they're nice and thin like that, and they're great for getting the chocolate out, I prefer to hand wash them in nice warm soapy water, and then I rinse them in warm water, and I leave to dry upside down. I just leave them to dry, and then you can uh, get your final get you get your very clean tea towel, and you can go round it, and even get some kitchen roll, and, and you can shine the inside up. But I wouldn't. I I personally wouldn't put those in the dishwasher. They wash up absolutely great in the um, in, in warm water um i've done that i've done that my rainbows that's what we're in fish for india <laughs> my rainbows we've done so many today 
So the rainbows, there we go, we've got that nice milkiness there, you can see it's coming away, I've got a nice opaque, I don't know if you can see it very well on there, but it's nice and opaque that, and I just look at that, it's that opaque, they just fall out, and have you seen the shine on those, you can see the shine on that much more than you could on the white, because it's very hard to see shine on, on white chocolate, but look at the shine on that S&C tempered chocolate there, the milk chocolate. It looks so good. So good that it is really good. So they're gonna go on my tray of treats. Do you like that word now? Mm. My tray of treats. Karen's tray of treats. Just put them over there. I need them by the way. You know what's happened, don't you? What have you done? You're not done. We need a bigger tray of treats. <laughs> we need to a bigger tray, so we've got my my nice rainbows. We'll get those all painted up in the next few minutes. Oh, it kind of looks a bit with those like two small rainbows together. It kind of looks a bit like a, uh, a record. CD. Yeah, a record. <laughs> I was gonna say CD then, but it's not CD. <laughs> and they don't rub off at all those transfer sheets on the chocolate, do they? Like they are very good. They're on. They are on. Solid. Look. Fantastic. So let's put that tray of treats into the fridge. And I've got my other transfer sheets here to bring out to you now. While we're here. So as I said, upside down. Peel off, very carefully peel off. If you peel it off too quickly, you will lose some of the design. Wow. So as you can see, my my bees, especially for the heart, are the right way up. I mean, bottoms you can put those anyway, but in the circles. But I wanted to make sure I had them on the heart the right way. And then there is my my little bee, and there is my big but my little butterfly and my big butterfly. So let's just gonna put those into my chocolate box. They look so fabulous. And then we've got the daisies very carefully again very carefully sometimes a little bit of transfer sheet might just come away a little bit but the overall effect it doesn't spoil the overall effect I think it's come up so well especially on that milk chocolate as well yeah so look at those aren't they great Oh, Molly Thompson has just said, India, can you tell Karen she's not put the lolly sticks in the cake pops in the fridge? Because I'm going to do that when I do the second coat on the um, on the chocolate ones. Oh. oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm going to do the second coat. Like I did with the white one, I'm going to put them in and then seal it with that second coat on it. Because I realised the, uh, the bottom sealed very nicely so that my lolly stick wasn't poking into the bottom of the chocolate. So I learned something myself doing it that way, that I was letting that first coat seal and then I could put the lolly stick in and then I could coat the second coat around the sides again and coat where the lolly stick was and then I could put the cake pop mix on the top so that the cake stick didn't go into my chocolate. So look at those, aren't they great? So these transfer sheets, really we've got such a lot of designs on the website now that they're absolutely great for... <laughs> they're absolutely great for tops of cakes, tops of desserts, uh, put them around the side of your cakes. You could like like that one lady said. You could uh, put your chocolate around your the side and then press on your um, or put it onto your sheet and wrap it around your cake and leave it to set. And then very carefully, as you've, as you've seen me peel it off, peel it off ever so gentle. But make sure it has set on your cake because then when you peel it off, you will leave the design behind. So uh, Crip has just asked, uh, can uh, can you melt? The chocolate with the transfer on the answer is yes um, if it's white it will change the color slightly it will if it's white it goes to the it goes to the color of the transfer sheet mm -hmm. as we did with that um other one wherever it's gone the heart one that i'll show you the heart one it has broke again because I, I took it off too quick but look that was the color before and that was that was that's the transfer sheet melted down 
So I just I melted it down again, and it just shows it's just gone to that it's got it, it's just gone to a lovely like a, a caramelly a caramel colour, and then I put it straight back onto the transfer sheet again. So it does remelt. It just might change colour, but that's, uh, is that only for the white? Or is the white it... changes colour. If you're putting it into the milk chocolate, it won't change colour. It's still milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. So you can mix all your milk chocolate transfer sheets together, and you can mix it and, and reuse it. But the white one will, if you remelted down, will go to the, the colour of your transfer sheet. As this was white chocolate on there, but it's took uh, that the rusty colour and the caramel colour a lot. It's took those two colours and put it into the chocolate colour. But you know what, it doesn't alter the taste of your chocolate, just alters the colour, but it doesn't really, to me, it's still, uh, it's still an acceptable, uh, it's still an acceptable colour for a transfer sheet. And I'm not wasting chocolate. Mm. So that's all going into the, the chocolate. There we go. <laughs> what we're doing with these cars, how we're doing cars, in fact, how we're doing, here we go. Time to do the lolly sticks on these and then do my second coat so as I see it goes in and it means it's sitting on that set chocolate just nice so it's nice and straight it's not dipping down into the chocolate which I, I'm so happy about that so what I can do now is melt the chocolate again and then I'll just coat them sides quickly and because it's nice and cold we'll set pretty quick we'll fill it with the uh, cake pot mix and then we'll seal them put them back into the fridge and as you saw with the white ones it does not take long at all to uh, to set these are great treats aren't they for children and for, for adults and for a party a great it's a, it's a it's a cake inside a chocolate block yeah i have to admit that sometimes like it's good to have a slice of cake but i feel like if you're at a party and you're on the go and you want to speak to people these are probably perfect especially if you're having a summer party yes they're so scary they are when you see what we're going to do with the um, the sprinkles and the and, and just like and the little sprinkles and that just to show you how to uh, make them all posh and and pretty and that's what it's all about is it's eye catching people eat with their eyes don't they you know they, they see something and they think it looks wow they're more likely to go for it so when you do them and you and you make them all really pretty they they love them I'm just imagining you now like sat in on holiday with one of these cake pops in your mouth <laughs> So as you can see, there were some transfer sheets in there that I just threw in with my... Can you see them? Mm -hmm. So look at that. And now they've gone. Now they've gone. So it just shows that you can melt them down, you can melt all your little bits down into... Always do it into, into your darker chocolate, like into your milk chocolate, because um, it's nothing's wasted then, it's great. Get my brush. So I've just warmed my brush up, because that had chocolate is set on it so that's nice and uh, done now it's going along the sides everyone is saying how much they love these Molly said the transfers are so effective um, Crip has just said love these lolly moles they are really cute and uh, Manny said transfer sheets gone in the basket and the rainbow mold yeah that rainbow mold is absolutely excellent isn't it but like you said the transfer sheets the transfer sheets you can do such a lot especially with your cutters just look for your cutters in your drawer or doing it on your cakes like that other lady's doing it's great just just um I would love doing different shapes I just get all my cutters out and I just do different shapes but just remember if you've got a certain pattern on that that way make sure you're doing it the right way up <laughs> right I'm just going to put those into the fridge to set now and then we will come back and just give them a, a quick fill with some cake pot mix and we can get those out so the last thing is now to oh. Marathon, Ooh. marathon. Hey, you've done amazing. You've let's get so much. Let's get these second uh, chocolate balls because the white ones have had two coats, as you know. So I'm just coating these edges because the bottom is quite thick. I'm actually just coating the edges again on these heart ones just to make sure they're nice and firm for when I take the cake pops, or you can use them as you can you can put fill them with cake pop, or you can bring them out and have them as hollow hearts. Mandy's just said there are loads of transfer sheets. There are, they, honestly, they go for every occasion. 
And again, if you're only going to do it for a small amount, do what I did, just cut parts off. You don't want to waste all of it. You don't want to drip chocolate onto it. So if you're only thinking you're wanting to do half a dozen of small ones, cut your transfer sheet in half or into quarters so that you're keeping the rest of the transfer sheet nice. There we go, that's, that's all nice and coated along there. I'm only going to fill one, I'm going to fill one each with um, cake pop and then peel the other one off to show you that we can peel the other one off as well. <laughs> she says. You can do it, Karen. So I it's that thing, isn't it, when you do something live? Oh, chocolate stars are ready. <gasps> are we all excited? I am. I am, I've not seen these. Right. Let's get those out of the way a moment. Put those to the one side because I'm going to cut those. In fact, you see what I'm going to do here now? I've got bits that I've saved now for next time. So I have got new bits. Have you seen on that bit there? Don't want to waste anything. So I'll save that bit as well. Perfect. So, Crip has just asked, if you want to add cake to the lolly mould, would you use a cake pop consistency? I have done, if you just wanted to put, I mean I have done because it fits in there better. Um, I think if you just crumbed a cake into there, your chocolate would seep into it and it wouldn't give you that, the cake crumb mix. The cake crumb mix is, makes it quite a solid cake inside. It makes it more like a truffly cake uh, mixture. So if you, if you get that idea, when you bite into a cake pop, it's like more of a truffle mixture, isn't it? Have you, when you bit into them, isn't it, India? Mm. When you, I would call it a truffly mix because you've mixed it with a buttercream. If you just put cake in there, have an idea your chocolate would just seep into your cake if it's cake crumbed. Unless you could, I mean, because you're going to have to cut your sponge so thin to get a layer of sponge in there because you've only got a few millimetres gap in those smaller ones. The bigger ones, the deeper ones, like that, you could coat those and maybe if you wanted to uh, cut your cut a piece of sponge to fit in you could try that because you'd have a solid piece of sponge which you could coat you wouldn't be any good just putting crumbs in because the chocolate will seep through the crumbs but you could always try and cut yourself a solid piece of sponge if you wanted to because that's deeper where you could get a nice piece of sponge in there right the cars have gone opaque come on you just press in the top just all the way around just lightly don't go too daft on it because you can break your moulds if you because they're, they're only a thin um you know they're not like a massive thick silicone they're, they're a nice flexible plastic but you just do it nice and gentle again these are brilliant washed in warm soapy water look at them can you see the shine on my cars there and that's with the rust colored color mill that's the rust colored color mill that's the latte colour mill. Then we've got three lovely chocolate ones, white chocolate, which we're going to luster those up. And I've got three of the milk chocolate, which we're going to luster up. So how good do they look? And how are they as lovely treats for somebody who was, uh, for, you know, for your children, if you want to give them a little car treat, it'd be lovely that for them. Once it's a nice solid piece of chocolate, which I'm sure they will absolutely adore as a treat. That mould is also on the website. So on here we go, because we're very nearly finished now, we're very nearly on to just lustering and painting. Go on to the, the treats tray. A shiny treats tray, don't you think? Shiny treats tray. Let's just fill one of these with, fill one each with cake mix. Everyone is saying they look amazing. Jo has said uh, she loves the cars. So again, I'm just putting the cake pot mix into that just so that I've got a nice 
a nice even layer I'm making sure going down to the point down there but I want to make sure that I've got enough room to put a lovely chocolate base on as well and we'll do one into nice spoonful into the white one don't be tight Karen get a bit more in there <laughs> We all like a bit of cake. So I'm just going to push that down. So we can put that there for a moment. Just going to melt my white chocolate to fill up the white chocolate one there. Can't believe it. I just got some. A little bit of milk chocolate. It's never you won't see that milk chocolate though when I no. took it upside down. You'll never see it. And then I've got some. Well, that might just do it actually. Jackie Evans just said, "Is that chip barking? Who do you think it is?" Of, of course, course it is. Of course, can't help themselves. It's our little chippy. So I'm just again. I'm making sure that the it's all sealed to the edge. So I want that chocolate to seal to the bottom chocolate, to the uh, the first layer that we did. So I'm making sure that that is all touching. It's all sealed beautifully. Shake. Shakey shake. And then with this one. There we go. Just make sure that it's sealing to the edge. If I need to get a bit more chocolate, I will, because I think I think I've left a little bit of a, a dome on my chocolate, but you know, hey ho, more cake for people. <laughs> no one's going to moan if we've got a bit of a a bit of extra cake at the back. So that is all sealed in beautifully. Make sure there's no cake, definitely no cake pokey through there. So we'll put those into the fridge to set. the most from today as well apart from the amazing creations is that you can easily just go into your chocolate cupboard yes now that it's all organized and i just know be like oh i'll just grab this <laughs> so i'm just putting a bit of cake pot mix into here and we're just going to press that down with the palette knife again we have to make sure that we're leaving that little bit of a gap And don't forget, Cicely's on tonight at 8 o'clock. I'll be here doing the comments for Cicely, but Cicely's doing a gorgeous, it looks like a cheesecake, is it cheesecake jelly cake? Yeah, she's it making a jelly gorgeous. cake. gorgeous. It looks absolutely amazing. You won't want to miss uh, Cicely making that. Right, so we've got our cake pot mix nice and firm in there. I've done it as one nice block. There we go. And let's just cover that with some to just remelt that again a little bit. Not putting the palette, I'm not putting the palette knife in the microwave. There we go. I don't need that anymore. I'm just putting things out of the way that we don't need because it's time. Time to lust up. Um, Mandy says, I missed, I missed the measurements, but they look about as big as your finger. Yeah, I didn't measure them, did I? Let me get my tape measure for you. Let me just see, let me just do... Um... You've got a proper tape measure. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Not the actual tape measure. We get the pink one. I get my pink one out. We get the pink one. My special one I bought for the kitchen. Look at this one. Okay. So... <laughs> so they are seven centimeters long and they are four centimeters wide yeah i think that chocolate has gone a long way it has so i've still got some uh, milk chocolate left in the pack so i haven't used 
the full 500 grams. So you've, made, you've made absolutely tons today. I know. I hope you've all enjoyed this one today. Whoops, don't you, don't you dare. <laughs> so remember, as you saw it before, when it spilled over, I did actually just take it off when I took the cake out. But what you can do as well is get your... important to make sure you're covering that that top edge of that chocolate that has set because you're just actually sealing it all in <laughs> Jackie's just said I need that tape measure <laughs> oh and June said brilliant live again Karen thank you right so I have sealed my Oh, and Sharon has also said, they are amazing, so shiny, I need Karen's treat tray. <laughs> so it's started to set already, that. So I'm just going to put that into the fridge now, and we'll get rid of the excess chocolate when we take it out. And then a quick... See if these come out. Oh, so this is Karen Davis's mould, remember? So, turn it upside down. Take that one out first, because I knew that one would come right. There we go. As you can see, silicon moulds don't make them shiny. These, these um, Karen Davis or Katie Sue. But you go into lust of them, so it doesn't matter. No, I didn't know if it would do it or not. Trial and error, isn't it? But what we do is, we take it out. You just said I've been dipping in and out Karen what have you filled the middle with so the middle of the cake pops is filled with cake <laughs> it's filled with cake pop stuff um, and everything else is just solid everything else is just solid chocolate it is I'm going to do a repair <gasps> I'm going to show you I'm going to luster it, it won't matter that I'm doing it in a little slightly. Different colour. Because I said to you, if I use a Karen Davis mould, I do like to luster them completely. Mm -hmm. So you need a little bit, so... These hand it, it's um these handles make it you have to also work out <laughs> so Peggy's just asked where does the shine go when using the molds it's because it's silicon so I'm just gonna work sorry I'm just gonna work out me um oh there we go <laughs> it's, it, you know that jigsaw you have to do <laughs> So then that would go there. Ah, there we see. There we go. I know where I'm, I know where I'm going now. Just getting 
the softest chocolate just to make it like a bit like cement honestly karen you are a wizard like sometimes you do things and i'm like how on earth do you do it but it might work there we go so we've got oh, that yeah. like that are you still alive hi yes ah. <laughs> i'm nearly come barging in saying but let's have a brew hi everyone <laughs> oh, we're just going to worcester <laughs> So we've got some go so I will leave that to set on once it will set. I'll I'll melt some chocolate down again. It's very hard getting out of the Karen Davis mould to get the handle to work, but we can set it in a minute. As you see that one's set alright, that one. So I'll reset that in a minute. I've got the football. I really do want to show you these things lustered up. So let's just clean this. Carol's coming to see how much chocolate I've got on the board. <laughs> <laughs> right, no problem. Just while I'm here, I've seen you've got the um the ring cutters out we were asked about them yes. yesterday right but I, I knew that there was a reason why i had been on pme and they were out of stock yes i've gone back on pme today and they're still out of stock oh. in fact pme haven't got anything in stock so uh, anything pme wise ladies we're gonna it looks like we've got to wait till august for a lot of stock to come in and it's all to do with the what's it Swiss canal is Suez, it? Suez canal, Suez canal yeah, yeah. So there's a hold up there and then stuff's held up in customs, so there's all Well the that's problems. it, once, it's, once it gets through the Suez Canal, it's, it gets held up at Folkestone yeah. then, doesn't it? So, yeah, so it's, uh, that, those are where all the problems are coming from. So I've been told. Right, that's me done, I'll leave you to do that and I'll probably right. do what I'm doing. Well here we go, so let's paint and luster. Look at these. I can't get over that shine. That shine there, can you see that lovely shine? So I'm just going to put a bit of kitchen roll down on the clean board now. There we go. So we've got some kitchen roll down there. Now let's um, luster these, the little ones. We're going to luster the little ones. We're only going to do a couple because we're going to leave a couple as in uh, nice and uh, white and milk chocolate. So we're going to a couple of these one lustered up. Got my lovely luster brushes here. Ooh. Ruby Rose on. <gasps> wow. So look at that Ruby Rose on there. And while I'm here, let's Ruby Rose a chocolate car. Cripper said you make it look so easy, Karen. Peggy said, Karen, you're going a gazillion miles an hour. Oh my God, you're working so hard fast. Well, look at that car. But you know what? Let's let's Ruby Rose uh, a white one up to show you the difference. Just makes it more brighter on the white chocolate. I love it on the on the milk chocolate. Mm. But I love it on the white chocolate. It just gives it that whole new. Uh, Brightness to Brightness it. Brightness to it. I mean, look at that. And you can still see the shine. So how don't they look gorgeous like that? Now we said... Ooh. Shall we have a sparkling gold... Um, with a sparkling gold car. Let's try the sparkling gold on the latte. I'm just cleaning the brush off there to make sure I've got no ruby rose on that. Oh wow. So this is the sparkling gold on the latte coloured chocolate that I did with the colour mill. So if you you didn't have to you don't have to go to the coloured chocolate once you've done it but look at that. Isn't that amazing? put him up there let's clean that brush off and how about a lovely fusion green Andy says that's the Rolls Royce of chocolate cars <laughs> 
Oh, it's my kind of car for summer, isn't it? Look at that, a convertible. Oh. So look at that. That's a, a lovely fusion green. And that's on the milk chocolate. Just look how bright that brings that up. It's gorgeous. And then while we're here, we've got the one that we coloured in rust. So let's try... A glowing bronze on the rust car. Oh wow, India, look at that. Gosh, it shows up so well, honestly. I've seen these dust do a million It things. brings all the detail, doesn't it? Every all the detail of the chocolate comes out when you've when you've dusted them. You can even see the ridges in the seats. So just to clarify, uh, what wonder dust we're using today. So we're using uh, rose. I've used ruby rose. Ruby rose. I've used sparkling gold, mm -hmm. fusion green, uh, fusion green, and glowing bronze. And honestly, they all oh, look so, now, so lovely. Now I've got the frozen blue. I know the frozen blue is not in stock yet, ladies, but we are hoping to have it in in the next couple of weeks. So I just want to show you this lovely. Just show you this lovely frozen blue on the white and then I'll do a frozen blue on um, the dark car on the milk chocolate car just to show you the difference well sometimes it's now you just want a bit of a sheen don't you mm. <laughs> Cicely has actually jumped on and she said looks amazing Karen can't wait to look at them in person later are you on your way down are you Cicely because her mum's driving, so she's all right. She can use her Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, she's doing, she, are you sure you should be talking? <laughs> so Cicely will be with us very soon. I can't wait for Cicely to be on at 8 o'clock. I'm looking so forward to seeing her jelly cake. It looks amazing. So look at that one. So that's the, that's the frozen blue on the milk chocolate car. So we do have just a couple of different uh, versions. And you, just a couple of different variations when you do it on white chocolate and dark chocolate. So they are those ones. Oh, I didn't do. They do your rainbows. They do my rainbows. So this rainbow here, I've got a fuchsia pink for one. So let's do a nice. So, um, so Anne Wearing, um, basically the uh, these dusts are called Wonder Dusts, and they're by our company uh, Sugar and Crumbs. So if you go onto our website. Um, and type in Wonder Dust, then you'll find them. We have so many colours and they all look absolutely amazing. They're, um, you can dust them like Karen's doing right now, um, or you can paint with them. You can actually mix it. You can, um, which I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to paint the rainbow. Oh yeah. I'm going to paint the big rainbow. Oh, well, you'll see, well, stay with us because you'll see it now. <laughs> so then I've got this gorgeous purple haze, which I'm just going to put onto this one. Wow, that has come up so nice. Look at that lovely purple haze there. So the, let's put these onto the tray. Onto the treats tray. Onto the treats tray. Honestly, they don't even look like chocolates. They actually look like little cars. They're so beautiful. I don't want to eat them. <laughs> Everyone is spamming the chat with love hearts. I think everybody is absolutely loving these colours. So I've got my tray, I've got my rejuvenator, I've got my Where have you gone? Oh, my little spoon. <laughs> so let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a where's it gone? There you go, sparkling gold. So we'll have a spoonful of sparkling gold. I don't need a lot because I'm only going to paint one of the rims. So I've got a sparkling gold. Let's have a frozen blue. I absolutely love the frozen blue. So we'll have a frozen blue. That's another colour. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The world is coming up for you right now. It's coming out for you. So this nice pink one. So we'll do the seven colours in there and then we'll paint. Oh, look at that, eh? Now, I'm not doing traditional colours of the rainbow. We're just doing some gorgeous wonder dust. Each line, just to show you how gorgeous these paints up. Of course, we'll get the fusion green in there. Everyone is saying how much they love these colours. Um, Maddie 
these are the small rainbows with great for cupcakes. They are, are aren't they? they? They certainly are. Oh, what have we got there? Oh, we've got the sparkling white. Sparkling white. I need two more colours. Um, dum de dum dum. Oh, Ruby Rose. And some fuchsia. What we're going to do is out here. Should we have another? Should we have another go? So I show you what the um, the deep gold. Wonder gold. Here we go. How about the uh, the deep rich gold Ooh. to show you what the, you know how different it is from the sparkling gold. So Jamie has just said, please, please, can you tell me when you did the large car? So that was on, I think, last week's lives or the week before. Um, I would suggest having a look on our YouTube. They're yeah. all saved for you. And also have a look on Facebook as well because they're all yeah. descriptions will tell you what we did on those lives. And we did some amazing stuff. I mean, Karen always covers amazing stuff anyway, but... Um, you'll find them on YouTube and also Facebook. I would suggest having a look. Um, we might post a link later, but right now, unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to need... Yeah, and I just get a little bit of water there, just so I can um, just rinse my brush. Yeah, so all of our lives are on YouTube as well. We always stream to YouTube anyway, but they're always saved on YouTube. So if there's ever a day where you're like, you know what, I should, I'm just going to have a cuppa and I'm just going to have a look and see what they've been up to, then just go on, log on to our YouTube. It's also Sugar and Crumbs. Type it in the search bar and you'll see all of our last lives. It will cover lots of recipes. Uh, you've got Free From Friday. Just a lot of cakes in general, but it's got some good stuff, so I suggest have a look. Right, I just noticed it. Right, so what I'm going to do actually, I'm just going to coat that in a little bit that uh, went onto it there. Because what I want to do is put it on and then paint. So if I, I'm going to try to just, you know, in where the creases are. Yeah. Oh, so it'll have like gold creases. Yeah. So Antonia, these colours are in stock at the moment. Um, I suggest going some might not be because yeah. we are waiting for them to come in. But all the golds are in. Yeah, some might be sold out um, because you guys love them too much. <laughs> right. So I've painted that like that. But what I want to do now is I'm going to do the top one in the gold. So I'm just going to mix. Mix rejuvenated spirit with my or dipping solution with my wonder dust. Mix it round to a nice paint consistency, and then let's just go. So well, they certainly do. So I'm just gonna do that, and then we'll get the next one. Look at your water. <laughs> this is where steady hand is needed. That's okay, because we've got Karen, who's got the steady, no, steadiest hands in I, the business. I really have <laughs> <laughs> Believe in yourself, Karen. You've got steady hands. It's a rainbow. It's meant to bring joy. Yeah. So there we've got a nice blue going on there. And then what I'm going to paint in this one, and then I'm going to dust the white one. So. Painting the gold on first has worked really well. It looks so lovely. Oh, 
What colour is that, Karen? This is a sparkling white one. But I'm gonna just gonna dust that on the other one. Mm. There we go. Oops. This is a fusion green one, but I might have made that a little bit too thin there. But if I do one coat, let it dry, I just want to go over that. I just want to go over that, um, you know, the blue one again, yeah, just to give it that little bit extra coat, a little bit extra zhuzh, zhuzh yes. dust as well and um, what you would then do because you don't want to waste all of this amazing product you would let your palette dry in which you can then um, brush off all of the pigment and put it back into the pots none of it is wasted they've made sure that you can definitely use a lot of it and it goes a long way so you're just going over that one again like that just brings it it looks amazing. More out. Just try and get to that white where I've not got the green mixed in with it. I've just got a spot of green with it then as well. <laughs> What's that? There we go. So that one is painted. So that back onto the treat tray. <laughs> and then let's just get put that water out of the way. And we did. Let's just do a purple haze. So let me paint very carefully with my shaky hands. <laughs> now this is onto milk this is onto white chocolate. White chocolate so it always comes off. A little bit light. I'm just thinking um Pretty good save, do you think? I was about to say, that was a great recovery. <laughs> Pretty good save there. <laughs> if I do save myself. No. <laughs> if I do panic myself. Right, that's just a bit of this, uh, the bronzy one. Let's go on to this one. <laughs> So Janet has just said, is that the dishwasher or the washing machine that is going? That is the dishwasher, um, of course, when we do our lives and everything, we have a lot of dishes left over, so we always pop them in there, but yes, <laughs> the timer just went off. At least it's better than the bug zapper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the timer's gone off on that one, it, it's, it, it's because I've, I've got a lot of pots to do, because I've got Sicily to that, so I've got to make sure I've got room in the, the dishwasher for all Sicily's things tonight as well. So here we go, that was the uh, glowing bronze one. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose is so lovely. I really do love the colour. So, um, Mandy 
Oh, I think I might have used all that bit on the motorbike and I forgot to pick some up from the warehouse today when I was there. So no, I'm sorry, I haven't. Let's put that one on there. I mean, I know you can't, that's a sparkling white. It just gives it a, a very pearly, a pearly sheen. So we'll just do that one on, on that one. I like the, uh, I love my golds as well. So this is my bright gold. Oh, it is lovely. A lovely bright gold. So these are lovely if you wanted a pastel type rainbow because with it being on the white chocolate it really does um it really just brings out the the luster on it there we go look at that yeah sometimes you don't want a rainbow that's a bit overpowering especially if you make um, a pastel cake so yeah just want to i've got the oh wrong one i'm just going to do that I just want to go over this one a little bit. It was annoying me. <laughs> Can't have something annoying you, can you, ladies and gentlemen? That's better. There we go. And then, nothing better. And a gold football. Amazing. And the last thing we have to do, Ooh. one last thing, and thank you for staying with me everybody, it's so much appreciated. Yeah, you all done absolutely amazing, um, we've covered a lot today, <laughs> we've done a lot of mould, so I think a big round of applause to Karen as well, um, she's definitely been um, a soldier. Let's just put the lid on there, put those on there a moment. What I want to do is I just want to get these hearts out of here now remember i've got some that are solid and some that are cake pops on so i'm just bending it very carefully and i'm just always keep your silicon mold upside down so that you can peel away so there we go we've got that's the cake pot one, so then I can just break off that little bit of chocolate around there. So then they're the two cake pot ones, and they were the two hollow ones, which you then could put uh, on into a treat box or onto cakes if you wanted to. They luster up absolutely great. Get a bigger, bigger luster brush there. Let's see. So, um, Jackie's just said, well done, Karen. Bandy said, could you cut a cake pop one, please, so we can see the inside? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you make me laugh. You always want me to cut something that I've done. I don't mind. I really don't, because it just proves that I really have done them. <laughs> <laughs> just in case she was doubting me. No. You always make Karen cry every morning. <laughs> she makes such amazing creations, and then you're like, cut it open. No, I don't mind. I will, I, I will cut one open for you. I'm just going to do this one. This is the Ruby Rose one. Oh, look at that. Um, Andrea's just asked, if you do the chocolate moulds, can I keep them in the fridge and for how long? If you, what, with cake popping or with just normal? 
I'm guessing both. I'm guessing both. Well, K-pop, so they're going to last... You, you, you K-pop with buttercream, it's going to last in your fridge. It'll last a, a good week. Uh, it would say a good week. And just your chocolate lasts in the fridge for as long as you want it to last in the fridge, as long as it's allowed to stay in the fridge with if you've got children. Right, and one of my... Oh, by Deep Rich Gold, I do like this one. Deep Rich Gold onto... Onto a nice clean board, you know. Okay. <laughs> that's my deep, deep rich gold. That's beautiful, that. And that's just a plain heart. And then we've got one last chocolate to do. Then I'm going to get those uh, other chocolate ones out. And we're just going to decorate our couple of chocolate moulds. We've got shimmer pink is a lovely one. We've got shimmer pink. That's an absolutely gorgeous colour. Look at that. How nice would that be if you're doing like the uh, the baby cakes or something gorgeous, pastely pink? That is so nice. <laughs> Peggy's just said, well done, Karen. You may need a nap this afternoon to rest and recuperate. <laughs> Not got time. So here we go. Let's take these chocolates out of here. So again, as I said, upside down. Peel very carefully back. There we go. Push the lolly stick out. Don't try and drag it out. Push it out. And then I can just break off little pieces of chocolate around there. There you go. And again with that one, we're just breaking off little pieces of chocolate. Onto there. I'll just uh, I just want to decorate these. Let's just get a couple of pearls out now. Just get some clean kitchen roll. Here we go. Because we're on the final, final thing now, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for staying with me. You've we've, all been amazing. We've got our gorgeous. Gorgeous lollies there, and then where did that? There it is. <laughs> where did that brush go? So I just want to give it a very. This one here, I'm just going to give this a just very light colouring, just because I want to. What I want to do is I want to glue uh, edible glue. Do it on that one, and then we'll do it on on that one, and then we'll just glue. A few little pearls down there, just give it a bit of a shimmer. Look at that on the top. You can go to the sides if you want to. You don't need to decorate the underneath, don't waste you just by decorating the underneath. I'll just give it a brush in there. Look at that. And then, uh, you know, my fave. Around the sides. <laughs> Linda has just said, I've sat and watched and cancelled housework till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You need to have a rest every now and then, don't you? This is a much better use of time. amazing how different they all look on, on the different types of chocolate yeah like you do get a different effect you do that i mean this is this is ruby rose on the on the milk chocolate oh, they're so versatile right so i've got those like that sprinkle cupboard is this way this time <laughs> <laughs> which way is the cupboard which way is which way am i going so i've got my that down there. I forgot my oh, 
to do the way you go in. Put you there. Oh, I think I think the the lights, uh, the pink lights have just gone out for some reason. Oh um, yeah. Not sure what's up there, ladies and gentlemen, but <laughs> I've just got my little. Oh, these will do nicely. I've got our sprinklicious mixes. I've got baby pink. My baby pink one, and I've got the ones with the uh, oh, lovely, lovely balls in there. Look at them. Look how amazing they're so multicolored. They certainly are. That's what. I've, oh, so I'm just gonna get a little. Here we go. Little bowl, just so we don't waste them. Little bowl in. A few in there, and a few in there, and I just reach the. In my clean new cupboards. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I've got my edible glue and then it's got a little glue brush on there. So we could just glue down, I'm just going to glue down the little, we're going to do the bottom part like that, glue down that and then just Saying how they absolutely love these sprinkles. They're gorgeous, aren't they? The big lot, the the big. Um, just thinking. I just wondered these big ones. I have to put them on there and, and leave them to set. So we'll use in these ones here. Everyone, uh, Mandy's just said thanks for the fabulous live, Karen. Uh, I know what I'm making this weekend. <laughs> and uh, Divya's just said, "Wow, it looks beautiful." I think she's stuck it into some tiramisu. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm not a massive fan of tiramisu, but I understand why people like it. I do Ooh, like yeah. cream. And then on the and I've got my I'll just use a little bit of this um oh, there they are. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There they are. go get the glue there. You can actually get some glue on the brush there we go so this is this is the fractal edible wood glue but we do do the cake star edible glue and also the uh, rainbow dust edible glue so just gluing that a little bit there and then it's what a couple so I'm going to put that one there, that there. Oh, they look so fun. And Doris just said, you're amazing for what you get done, Karen. A great live. Thank you. And then we'll just do this one.
And there's a very short green one there that'll do lovely. <laughs> In there like that. So let's just put these all on to our lovely treat tray so you can see our treat tray. In there, put those away in a moment. Oh, I've got such a lot of tidying up to do. <laughs> Is there any room on the treats tray? Well, that's it. I mean, let's just we can just uh, we've, we've done so much chocolate today. There we go. We can put those up there like that. We can put the cars together in the garage <laughs> like that. I've got that heart up there. Oops, a daisy. Where have you gone? Blue's not quite set on that one yet. There we go. Stay there. <laughs> that all looks so good. So there we go. We've got our treat tray and we've also got on there transfer tray <laughs> we've got our transfer let's put these transfers onto our transfer tray so we've got treats tray we've got transfer tray just to show you how brilliant these transfers are they again they're great for putting in your ice cream cones they're great for putting on top of your cakes they're great for in your cupcakes absolutely everything so there you go so there you go ladies and gentlemen we have chocolate <laughs> we have <laughs> We have oodles of chocolate. How did you like those moulds? Carol's put all those moulds on sale now. They're all there for you. So don't forget, we, the rainbow mould is absolutely brilliant. We've painted it. We've dusted it. We've lusted the small rainbows. We've got the mini car mould on there, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. So you can make your solid cars. So we've lusted those. We've got the four... Uh, the four section geometrical zigzag lolly mould that's on the website we've got the heart mould that holds eight hearts and you can make them as cake pops or you can do them as hollow as I showed you and we've got oodles and oodles of transfer sheets have you some of you have already seen how many we've got on our website for you to do all your designs and you can get your cutters out you can make different shapes you can just decorate anything you want to you're going to have a whole lot of fun <laughs> so thank you thank you for joining me uh, I'm back again at 8 o'clock tonight with Cicely, so Cicely's doing her jelly cake tonight, so I can't wait for you to see that. And tomorrow I'm back at half 11 with my vegan cake, it's vegan day tomorrow. I'm actually going to make again those vegan pineapple upside down cakes that you all loved last year because we've had quite a few new people join the community group and I really want to show you those delightful single desserts that you can make and it's the vegan pineapple upside down cakes tomorrow, so please join me at half 11 for that as well. India, thank you. Hello, thank you very much, and everyone. Thank you, everyone, for staying with me. I so much appreciate it. Thank you. And don't forget, the classes are still on half price on the website, so grab those classes while you can. A perfect bargain. Some of them are like £15. Those classes are £10. You can't go wrong on those classes, so grab those classes while you can, and it's going to keep you all nice and busy. Uh, even if you buy them now, you've got them all for the winter months, so it's going to keep you lovely and busy through those cold winter months when you're thinking, what can I do because it's raining? You can do your classes. <laughs> so thank you, and we'll see you again tonight.